So yesterday, CDS got an update, which is a Christmas one, obviously, and they added a new event. So this video was originally 8 hours, and I don't want to edit that at all, so I'm going to narrate over the strategy I used, and a friend helped me with it, so yeah, um... That was a fun experience for me, wasn't it? So me and my friend were using the Jess Harrison strat, which was basically the, the OP strat, as we done it first try using this strat. And that was play 2, which was basically the medic, and the engineer main. But the thing is, I sort of realised that I kind of messed it up. Why? Because I played engineer first, and I did not play the first ring. Which was really stupid of me, but it worked. So even me being a mistake, I somehow managed to make it work out. But basically, I had to get 6 engineers to level 2, then 3, then 4, then get 2 medics. Which was the main thing I was going for, because I needed to get it before wave, uh, like 20 I think. But that happened in like, a couple of minutes, so, yeah. Then, I played 6 engineers and got them all to level 2, 1 to level 3, because that was literally the next step anyway. But I gotta say, engineers are kind of OP now, because they're just shredding through all of them, and those are like the only towers we have played. Even though there's like 12 of them, but still, it's quite surprising. At wave 12 is where the mini boss comes out, and he has 8000 health. He wasn't that hard to beat, but we did take a bit of damage. Then, after we done like at least 50% of our strat, I finally placed medics, which were useful for wave 20, because that's where the next mini boss came out. His name was the Gatekeeper. He had pretty much three times the HP of the previous one, just minus the 4,000. And this is the time where we had to use medics. Every time a tower got stunned or something, we had to use medic, or I should say me, because I was the medic guy. But we kind of leaked. We kind of leaked a bit of zombies. They got in and took like 300 of our health. Plus the gatekeeper taking 100 of our health. But I at least got a second max medic. Which we really needed. So we killed the gatekeeper but he took 100 of our health. To me, I think that was a fair trade. Also, is that an elf but on our team? Yeah, that is the elf camp tower, which I'll get onto in like a couple of minutes. But in the next wave, the ripped elf came back, this time with more HP and more enemies. At least I think. Yeah, now he got the extra HP and now he's gonna be supposedly harder to kill, but he really wasn't. He didn't even have the same HP as the gatekeeper, so he was pretty easy to defeat. But at the same time, I was spamming level 2 medics because we were below 750 HP before wave 24. But it would be way more better if I put medics before wave 23 and got some HP on the wave 23 and then so on and so on. But for now, you can watch me beating wave 23. <laughs> Then wave 24 came, the other mini bosses came back, except Ripped Elf had way more HP and Gatekeeper had more HP also. But Ripped Elf just got shredded, we literally just put him into a shred and then shredded him. Then the Gatekeeper was next, he was kind of slow to defeat, not gonna lie. It did take a bit of our damage, but I used a lot of medics and I was spamming them because there was still a timer. So. Even though it was wave 24, I still place medics for when the timer finishes, the medics will use their ability. Well, not ability, but the healing. But I gotta say, this was actually kind of close. Like, we could have been dead if we leaked a Riptel. Then I started upgrading all of my engineers to level 5. 
well our HP was at 59 we were literally like one shot from the gatekeeper but he passed away we need to get over 650 HP like pretty fast because the last wave or or well the next phase of 24 is really RNG based so yeah we need to heal up like really fast then we got to wave 24 the final phase the boss phase and all of us just prayed to get really good RNG or else we'd be screwed. We were not above 650 HP. So I had to hope that the tree would heal itself like really fast. But for now you can watch me beat the wave. Just using this strat, I finally beat this event. So after doing that strat, I finally got it. But yeah, it's basically this. It's basically like military base, but it sends out more units. So I'm gonna do that and place farm straight away. Come on, hurry up there. They only have 8 HP on the first, uh, well, not even on the first upgrade, the zero upgrade. Yeah, they seem to be quite weak. They're just gonna run into the zombies, I guess. And there's another one. So they spawn quite fast. Definitely faster than military base. Yeah. They take like two hits from these and then die. Now fast is spawning. So, that uh, upgrade pretty much does nothing. And, by the way, you can only place two of them. Because if you could put multiple of them, that would be really OP. Probably would lag out the game if I'm being honest. Now, now we have the Snowball Elves. Also, did it? Oh, there's two of them now. That yeah, we have a Snowball Elf now. There, that's the Snowball Elf. He has 12 HP and he has range, which is pretty good. I mean, his range isn't the biggest, but it works. How are you not taking... Okay, this temple is kind of bugged. What the hell was that? That was really weird. Get the Bomber Elves. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty much like the one we have in the event. That is a lot of money you need. But I got it anyway. 
up oh, there, there we have the guardian elf and the <laughs> this tower might be one of my favorite event towers now i can get the final upgrade now we're gonna have more elves coming out then we have the gunner elves which are pretty much the same as the gunners i think well, not the gunners, the, the other one, I forgot what they were called. Then we have the gift bomber, which I think could hit flying enemies, and if so, that is really good for hardcore. Ooh, actually, this actually could be good for hardcore. Why, they have hidden detection? This might be kind of OP. They just shredded through him. Jesus Christ. Oh, then we have the Ripper Elf. And those, I think, are all of them. Now I'm gonna see how far I can get with just using them. This is so good, though. No, don't die. Oh. Why, the slow boss is gonna be really interesting. Did that deal, like, 200 damage? I swear it just dealt, like, 200 damage. Oh, no, it was, like, at least 80 or something. Although, they do struggle on really tanky enemies. I feel like they just turned into an assault rifle. What is this RNG? They gave us like 50. Okay, we're screwed. There's no way we live this. But that rage though. Yeah, we only killed one of them. We're definitely dead. Yep. Well, they lost it by themselves quite a while. Wave 32, honestly, that is so good.